It's the mystery of the missing doctor. We have new developments tonight on what happened just before Talika Patrick vanished from this Kalamazoo parking lot nearly two weeks ago. What went down in the hours after she went missing and what police think happened when she left her car in Indiana? 24 Hour News 8 Steve Kelso has those details live tonight from where a vigil is expected to happen tonight. Steve? And good evening, I'm here at Trinity Temple in Parchment, where, well, as you say, a vigil is just now getting underway. Friends, family of Dr. Talika Patrick gathering tonight, hoping and praying that she'll be found and returned home safe. All of this comes on the same day that the Kalamazoo Sheriff's Department releasing new information about her whereabouts the day before she was discovered missing. It's got to be frustrating because you don't know what you don't know. Well, and that's it. You know, we get asked a lot, is, it, is this a suspicious um, incident or not? So well, we don't know. Today, the Kalamazoo Sheriff's Department tells us that the night before she was reported missing, Dr. Talika Patrick was seen in the lobby of the Radisson Hotel. She was trying to get a room, but for some reason could not. Using the hotel courtesy van, an employee drove Patrick back to the Borges parking lot to find her car. She identified uh, an area where she could be dropped off, and she was dropped off there. Um, and she walked uh, through the parking lot, and the uh, driver just left with the presumption she got in the car and drove away. Because security cameras were not working that night in the Borges parking lot, police say they cannot be sure it was Talika Patrick who even drove away. Patrick's Lexus was found later that night by Indiana State Police, but before that, they had received a call. Apparently, they've come up with witnesses uh, who saw this vehicle uh, about 10 minutes before it was left uh, along the side of the highway. Uh, they identified a single driver um, that was driving erratically. Police now left with more questions than answer, and tonight they remain asking for your help. Yeah, so right now you can't say endangered, not endangered. Right, and we, we, we can't say that either way, and we're hoping that when the public does come forward, uh, we garner enough information that we can uh, kind of call this one direction or another. I was able to have a brief conversation with Dr. Patrick's parents before they made their way into the vigil this evening. They say she had just purchased a plane ticket to come home for Christmas. Now they're asking for your help, asking anyone with any information to contact the Kalamazoo Sheriff's Department. Live in Parchment, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.